What if I told you we can make an automatic bone meal farm in Minecraft? Yeah, I'm serious. Let's do this thing. Now for this farm, you'll need the following. You will need some cacti, some sand, some water, some composters, a hopper, a hopper minecart, a rail, a fence, then some building blocks of your choice. I'll just use quartz. So first off, we're going to make a small farm. Then if you want to expand it out later, we'll do that together. But anyways, to make the most basic farm for this, take out a piece of sand, place it down, then a cacti on top of that. Now go to the back of your sand, do a space of one, and place down a building block. Now on each side of that building block, go out by two, then bring these outward blocks down this direction. Now take out your water buckets, go to the back of the sand again, and in each corner, place down one bucket of water. Now taking out your building blocks again, bring them down until the water stops. So you see here, the water stops here, so I go one, two, three. Boom, over here, one, two, three, then bring it all in together for this rectangle shape. Now take out your fence, go to the back of your cacti, and on the second block of cacti, or if you just have one piece, then it'll be one above that, place down a fence. Now you're gonna see that's gonna cause the cacti to break every time it grows. Now mine's going a lot faster than yours because I have a higher tick speed right now for demonstration purposes, but on a slower scale, this will be your farm. Now the main idea is to come back to the front, break this middle block here so all the cacti comes to this one block stop. Now at this one block stop, stop in this order you're gonna break the block you're gonna place down a hopper underneath that you're gonna place down a composter and underneath that you're gonna put down a rail and your hopper mine mine cart mine cart and you're going to see the cacti goes into the hopper goes into this little composter thing gets turned into bone meal slowly and then we'll collect inside of this hopper mine cart now obviously this farm is going to be really really slow for you because it's real Minecraft, this is not going to grow that fast, it's only one piece of cacti, it's going to take forever. But it's time for expansion. You're going to take out more pieces of sand and do the exact same thing with your cacti. And just do something like this. And now you're gonna see if we put down some fences on both sides of these, they're all gonna break simultaneously. Now you're going to see there will always be lost in these farms because the water just acts weird in some of these. So don't worry about that. But the point is you're getting lots of cacti going into one spot, which is giving you bone meal. Now you might look at this and still be unimpressed Press. So let's make a massive scale farm using this design. So as opposed to that small rectangle, let's make a gigantic square, like a 20 by 20 square. So instead here, I'm gonna make a gigantic rectangle, a really long rectangle. And honestly, it's the same kind of water system. Just put water here at the end, it'll flow all the way down. And when it stops, just go down one level lower and do the same thing here, then break all the blocks until the water stops and repeat. Now, sometimes in these bigger scale farms, it's harder to like make it go to one centralized block. So in this case, you might wanna do multiple hoppers here at the end so for example I'll put a hopper on every single grass block here and same thing with the composters and the hopper mine carts all underneath these going in order but here comes the cool part the cacti so what we can do is just place down a ton of cacti blocks all over the place here and just do the same kind of fence design. And additionally, if you're worried about blocks stopping the water, you also could make these go a little bit higher in the air. So you could go like building block in the air, then sand, and then do the cacti up here. Come to think of it, I kind of like this method better but it's floating, so maybe just do this. And you see, I'm just gonna put these going all the way down the entire farm. Then of course, put our fences in the middle of these. Now you guys get it. This is how you can expand your farm, make it bigger. You could even stack these. You could put like another cacti row on top of like up here, for example, then start another one up here like this. You could make this thing wider, then put more cacti on the sides too, like this. Okay, Farsi, maybe a little bit overkill here, but you guys get the point. Now, obviously, I didn't set up my composters yet, but look at all the potential bone meal we have here. All these pieces of cacti will eventually turn into bone meal. But once again, if that's too much for you over there, here's the simple design I taught you earlier. So there you go, guys. Go make an amazing bone meal farm. And obviously, before the comments flood with this, if you have a skeleton farm, might be a little easier to get bone meal that way. This farm here is more for the pacifists who don't want to fight. So if you hate fighting mobs, make sure to throw a like down. But all jokes aside, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.